Even before I went into Chef Benito's five-star establishment, I knew I was destined for something special. I had heard of his great success overseas in Europe, and his move to the States was one that intrigued food critics and rival chefs alike. I was lucky enough to experience his cooking for the first time uh, about a month ago at his newest restaurant, La Essencia. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Table for one. I'll be when helped you, sir. No, um, what's the chef special tonight? Tonight's special is a foie gras with a spice citrus in a side of a sourdough bread. Foie gras. Um, do you think that the chef... Is there a problem, sir? Uh, no, uh, <laughs> sorry, are, are you the head chef? Yes, I'm a chef, Benito. Oh, chef Benito, it is an honor to meet you, sir. <laughs> I'm Samuel Mitchell. Samuel, the pleasure is mine. Uh, Something other than a foie gras, then. Oh. Yes, yes, um, let me just look at the menu, sorry. Um, of course, uh, I will send my next available server over to help you as soon as oh, possible. Oh, no, please, chef, wait, um, I'm, I'm, I'm writing a special piece for my blog and you know, I was hoping you could make something a little different. I know just the thing, I will be right back. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh, I was just, um... I'm sorry, uh, Samuel. I think it's time for you to Look, go. Look, just, just one thing. Um, the meat you served is something I've never tasted before. I mean, what is it? I'm sorry, Samuel, but this process is my own secret. I cannot reveal it to you. But perhaps next time, Another dish for your blog, huh? Okay, Chef, no, just please, please, please tell me what it is, okay? I, I won't tell anyone. Like, I won't even write about it. Just... I can see the passion in your eyes. I can tell that you are truly hungry. And this is something I do not see in people anymore. I know what this dish means to you. But I cannot tell you what it is. I can tell you this. I am hosting a dinner party for a few of my friends this is Sunday night. If you truly want to know what I serve, Samuel, I will see you here for dinner this Sunday. to uh, pick up my suit from the cleaners. Hey. Uh, 
Sam? Yeah, what's up? Have you been smoking again? Yes, I had one this morning. Sorry. Thought you quit a couple months ago. I did, I'm just stressed, that's all. Stressed? And cigarettes help? You know, you can talk to me. I know, I'm just freaking out about this dinner party, okay? I don't know why I'm freaking out, I'm just freaking out. Dinner party? Yeah, for the uh, blog review I'm doing for that restaurant I told you about. La Sencia. So I should cancel dinner with my parents tonight? Forgot about that. Can we do it tomorrow? No, Sam. They fly home to Florida in the morning. Are you serious? You really didn't remember? What is this dinner party? It's for the blog. That's all you need to know. Samuel. Look, I'm just trying to get dressed. Can this wait, please? No, Sam. That's not fair. What's not fair? You can't just blow me off like this. Don't you have any priorities? Yes, I have priorities. And right now my priority is to write this review so I can afford to buy groceries. Really? So that's what this is about now? Look, if you want to pay next month's rent all on your own, go right ahead. But I'm going to be broke if I don't go to this dinner tonight. Fine. But I'm coming with you. To the dinner? I mean, I might as well go out still. My dress is ready and everything. I can't just bring another person with me, Emma. It's a private dinner. It's I was only invited. not a problem. What was the restaurant called? La Asensia? Oh, you get dressed. D no, Emma. I'll call. Okay? Thank you. Samuel, I am so happy to see you. Uh, it's great to see you too, Chef. Oh, so good to see you. Huh? And who is this? I do not believe we have been properly introduced. Emma, sir. Nice to meet you. Amelia. What a beautiful name. Pleasure is mine. <laughs> Everyone, this is Samuel and Amelia Mitchell. Oh, no, and Chef, we're not like they married. They will be joining us for dinner this evening. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go prepare the first course. I like your dress, Amelia. Oh, thank you. I like yours too. Um, oh, I'm Mary sorry. Ellen. Nice to meet you, Mary Ellen. And uh, let me ask, uh, how did you come about meeting the chef? Actually, we were supposed uh, to- I go... came in earlier this week and met him here. Um, got kind of lucky, actually. I certainly wasn't expected to be invited to a dinner party. Uh, Emma just kind of tags along. So you must be Samuel. The chef told us about you before you came in. Uh, really? Well, I hope he has good things to say. Yes, my dear. Very, very nice things. That's, that's good. I, I didn't think he liked me. Oh, no, dear. He wouldn't have invited you here to be with us if he didn't like you. However, the chef does have some enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, La Sensi. I've not heard from you. Tell me, what do you think? Oh, 
Um, I, I liked it. <laughs> that is fantastic to hear. But stop lying. Tell me, please. What do you think of my food? Um, I, I mean... Chef, uh, I know <clears throat> Emma hasn't tried any dishes as exotic as these ones. I don't Samuel? think it's the right... Would you please? I want to hear from her. So, what do you think? Uh, well, it wasn't bad. Was it bad? Well, I just, I just think that the, maybe this wasn't for me. Just who do you think? You are. Chef, I'm sorry if she's offended you in any way. Shut up, Samuel. <laughs> Friends, I apologize. For some strange reason, I thought it would be a good idea to bring not just one, but two strangers into our already perfect evening. I am such a fool. <laughs> It's so foolish. Samuel, look at me. Get out. Do not come back. Chef, no, please. I'm just let me make this up to you. I mean, if she did anything to offend you. Get out, Samuel! Out! So? So what? Are you gonna make me ask for an apology? Okay. I'm sorry things didn't work out. Didn't work out? I don't think you fully understand how completely fucked we are now, Emma. That was a complete fucking disaster in there. Look, I really am sorry. I didn't expect him to put me on the spot like that. Put you on the spot? That was supposed to be me on the spot, Emma. Me on the spot. I mean, none of this would have happened if you didn't even go there in the first place. Samuel, if I knew you were writing about that shit, I would have told you you're wasting your time. That food was fucking disgusting. I, I don't care what you think, okay? All I care about is what I think because I'm the one writing about it, not you. Oh, I'm sorry I don't care about your stupid little blog as much as you. Stupid blog? So that's what you think. Huh? What the fuck do you even care about, Emma? I care about you. Anybody here? Emma? You there? Chef? Yes, Samuel. It is me. 
Well, is is Emma with you? She's with me. Everything is fine here. Well, can I talk to her, please? She can all really uh, talk right now. Why don't you come down here and say hello? I am sure she would love to see you. first time you tried it. I saw the look of a man like I was 15 years ago when I tried it for the first time. What is a true passion without true sacrifice? Chef, I, I don't think that you understand. No, Samuel. It is you that does not understand. I invited you in my world and you insult me. Do not worry, because this is nothing that we cannot fix. <laughs> I gave your lover a quick and easy death, Samuel Mitchell. But you, I will kill you slowly. It is of an evil life when death's approach seems so terrible. <laughs> Benito's menu was one of great variety and ambition. His desire to innovate and push boundaries was something that you don't see in most artists nowadays, or most people for that matter. In the brief time I had spent with him, he taught me one thing. Stay true to yourself and never give up on what you really want.